give you guys the top five best class setups in Modern Warfare 3. Now, these are all meta, basically have no recoil and very easy to use for beginners, intermediates, or advanced. So we're gonna start out with the striker because this is a fan favorite. You start out with the Sonic Suppressor S for being undetectable by radar, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim walking steadiness, sprint to fire speed, and recoil control. Next, we're gonna throw on a striker recon long barrel for the barrel, and this is for bullet velocity and range, aiming out of sway. Now you get a reduction of hip fire and attack stance spread, sprint to fire speed, and aim walking speed, but that's not a big deal. This is my personal preference right here, but I think you should use this, the .45 auto high grain rounds for no enemy skulls, bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of some recoil control, which you will not notice. I ran the 60 round jump because this is multiplayer, but if you guys want to run the 48, feel free just for faster aim down sight speed, aim walking and all that stuff. You do get a significant more reduction with the 60 round drum, but I do have something that's going to offset that. So wait before you make this final decision. Now, the last thing is the no stock. This helps with aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking speed and hip fire and attack stance spread at the cost of gun kick control, aiming out of sway, flinch resistance, and recoil control. Now, I know you see all those cons, but with this entire setup right here, I'm going to show you guys just how deadly this is. So just going into a game right now, you start out with one plate, because that's what it basically is. Look how fast that absolutely kills, and it basically feels like it has no recoil. Now, long range, there is a little bit more recoil, but as you guys see, you actually still have really good movement, really good recoil control, and super long range is really the only con. So please give this a chance. I guarantee you guys will absolutely love this. Next, we're moving on to the Rival 9. Now, I think this is the meta SMG in Modern Warfare 3, so please try this out and let me know what you think. Start out with the L4R Flash Hider for Muzzle Flash Concealment, Recoil Control, and Gun Kick Control at the cost of Aim Down Sight Speed, which is not a big deal. Throw in the 9mm High Grain Rounds for Bullet Velocity and Damage Range at the cost of Recoil Control. Now, you guys need this to make this an actual meta weapon. Without this, it kind of feels like a pea shooter, but with this, it just changes the entire game. 40 round mag, now I don't recommend 50 because you guys may think that in this aspect, it's not really gonna change much, but it just feels way slower, way clunkier than with the 40. So stick with the 40, 40 is more than enough. If you wanna try 50, be my guest, but I don't think you're gonna have a good experience. Rival Vice Assault Grip for gun kick control, firing aim stability and recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway, which is not a big deal. I don't think the alternatives are really worth it. Like they don't really have much pros. And the last thing is the MTZ Marauder Stock for gun kick control, aiming out of sway and firing aim stability at the cost of aim walking speed, movement speed, hip fire and attack stand spread and sprint to fire speed. It's so crazy how easy this gun is to actually use the only downside is like for me i have uh, stick drift so long range is not great for me but for somebody without stick drift it just melts long range short range and medium range are just absolutely optimal so please try this gut out it's absolutely insane so if you guys want to feel free to take a screenshot right now because the rival 9 is honestly the best smg you can use in modern warfare 3 i can't think of a better one that you would actually want to use next is the fan favorite the mcw now this is the overall best assault rifle now there are assault rifles that you know have better damage or are a little bit faster but overall this is fantastic start out with the 16.5 mcw cyclone long barrel for bullet velocity and range aiming out of sway and firing aim stability at the cost of attack stance spread hip fire spread and aim walking speed Put on the 5.56 nato high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control which you will not notice 60 round drum now this is a, an example of a weapon that i don't really see the difference between the 40 and the 60 in regards to the cons so this is something that i highly recommend just sticking with the 60 round drum rb claw psl grip for firing aim stability gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway which is not something that's going to be noticeable with this gun and last but not least this is my personal preference but i put on the mark 3 reflector if you want to use anything else feel free but i just just like using this it feels way easier to use this gun with this and show you guys how amazing this is it takes no effort to actually use this gun and as you guys see it literally has no recoil so you guys see the reload is actually really good i'm going to show you guys the sprint to fire speed very easy it's just an overall very easy weapon for anybody to use whether you're a beginner intermediate or pro i do have something that's a little bit more difficult has a little bit more recoil but has a bit more damage but before we get into that feel free to screenshot this take a picture or just put the class setup right like now if you guys want to this setup is absolutely amazing and i recommend anybody watching this to try it out if you guys made it this far into the video comment mcw my snipers out there you guys know i have to give you guys love with the longbow this is honestly one of the best weapons you can overall use it's a very spammy weapon but the thing is you can one shot just about any distance as long as you get a headshot start with the fss ov laser for aiming stability aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed the cost of laser being visible in ads trust me you want this because of all the pros it actually gives the sniper otherwise it's gonna feel really slow but on the x10 phantom 5 hand stop for sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed vertical recoil and gun kick control at the cost of hip fire and attack stance spread horizontal recoil which is not a big deal this is the big thing right here i see a lot of people say they get hit markers with this gun that's because they don't have the 7.62 high grain rounds on this helps with bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control which you will not notice because this is 
the sniper. 10 round mag. Now this is a beautiful thing that helps with aim down sight speed, spread to fire speed, aim walking speed, and reload quickness. Now you do get a significant reduction of magazine ammo capacity, but I mean, who needs 30 bullets? If you guys really want the 30 bullets, and feel free to keep this off, but I think that this is better than the 30 bullets that you're just gonna waste. The last thing is no stock for sprint to fire speed, movement speed, aim walking speed, and aim down sight speed at the cost of recoil control, aiming out of sway, flinch resistance, and hip spread. Who cares? Honestly, who cares? And just show you guys how lethal this is. One, two, three. It's a very easy weapon to use. Doesn't take much effort. It's just an absolute amazing sniper. So if you guys want the class, feel free to copy this down because this is the class that's most likely gonna be taking you out. If you're not using this class setup, you're most likely getting hit markers, you're not ADSing fast enough, and you're gonna be taken out. So feel free, comment sniper if you made it this far. And the last thing I have to show you guys is the Holger 556. This is honestly the strongest assault rifle in the game. Start out with VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor for being undetectable by radar, recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walking steadiness, and sprint to fire speed. Put on the 5.56 NATO high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control, not a big deal. 40 round mag, if we could get more, then I would put more on there, but honestly, this is the only thing that you can put on. You don't want to put the 20 unless you're playing, say, like Search and Destroy. Otherwise, 40 is the optimal choice. RB add all assault stock for recoil control and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed, which is not a big deal. And the last thing is the Mark III Reflector. This class that up right here is absolutely amazing. And just to show you guys how amazing it is in action, check this thing out. So we set up, melts incredibly quick, and you don't even need headshots. Like I said, this just has a little bit more recoil, but it's the damage per bullet is absolutely ridiculous. In my opinion, makes it better than MCW. And the other beautiful thing is, if you guys didn't know, this is actually banned in competitive. And you have to wonder, why is this gun banned in competitive, but the MCW is not? This is the best assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3, so feel free to screenshot this, give it a chance, and I know you guys will absolutely love it. All right, so this doesn't really count for the top five, but I did want to include the Renetti because it absolutely is amazing as a secondary. Throw on the HM Res Mod Suppressor XS for undetectable by radar and bullet velocity at the cost of recoil control. The Mark II Renetti Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range and aiming out of sway at the cost of tax stance spread, sprint to fire speed, hip fire spread, and aim walking speed. 9mm high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control not a big deal trust me you want to have this on there it just makes it so much better 50 round drum i know this sounds crazy but it's actually better than having the 30 and the 24 believe me there's not many cons other than reload quick this is kind of strange that they've been changing out the uh the ammo like penalties but the more ammo you have you're not getting that aim down sight speed penalty that you are with the 30 round mag just look at that right now you have a one penalty for the aim down sight speed on 50, but two for the 30 round mag. That's very strange. Last but not least, the F-Tech Sadist folding stock for allows tax stance and gun kick control. That's the big thing we're actually working for. We're getting the gun kick control. We don't really care about the tax stance, but you do get a reduction of recoil control, sprint to fire speed and sprint speed, not a big deal. Look how easy this gun actually is to use. Like, it's absolutely busted. Like, in my opinion, it should basically be classified as a primary weapon too, because just because of how lethal it is, like two bursts and, and you get the job done, and then long range if you actually hit all your shots, it's only like three bursts. Like, my goodness, this thing is absolutely amazing. But here's the entire class. Please copy it down, screenshot, whatever you want to do, because this Renetti is the best secondary and the only secondary you'll ever need.